welcome friends here is the very interesting and important question and the question number 4 of exercise 2.4 of chapter 2 and the question says if the two zeros of the polynomial x raised to the fourth power minus 6x cube minus 26x square plus 138x minus 35 r 2 plus square root 3 2 minus square root 3 and then find the other two zeros so let us solve this question first of all we shall collect the given polynomial and that is x raised to the fourth power minus 6 x cube minus 26 x square plus 138 x minus 35 and we shall denote this polynomial by px and now we shall form another polynomial gx by using the two zeros of the given polynomial px and the two zeros of the given polynomial are 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3 and if we shall form a polynomial using these two zeros then we have to write x minus 2 plus root 3 and in another bracket we shall write x minus 2 minus root 3 and now we shall solve these values then we have x minus 2 minus root 3 and in this bracket it will be x minus 2 plus root 3 and if we further solve this value we can write it as x minus 2 minus root 3 here we can write x minus 2 plus root 3 and now we shall apply the identity that is a minus b into a plus b is equals to a square minus b square then we have square of x minus 2 minus square of square root 3 because this is a this is b here it will be a and here will be b so we can apply this identity to this polynomial then we have if we expand x minus to whole square then we have x square plus 4 minus 4 x minus 3 finally we have x square minus 4 x plus 1 so this is gx and since gx is made from two zeros of the given polynomial px therefore gx is a factor of px and now we shall divide the given polynomial px by gx therefore we shall write the given polynomial px in the middle of the page and that is x raised to the fourth power minus 6x cube minus 26x square plus 138x minus 35 
and now we shall divide it by the polynomial gx and gx is x square minus 4x plus 1 And now we shall find the first term of the quotient by dividing the first term of the dividend and that is x raised to the fourth power by the first term of the divided that is x square. Finally we have x square. So the first term in the quotient is x square and now we shall multiply all the terms of the divisor by this x square then we have x raised to the fourth power minus 4x cube plus x square and now we shall change the sign of these terms these terms will be cancelled out here we have if we sub add minus 6x cube plus 4x cube then we have minus 2x cube here we have minus 27 x square and now we shall brought down these two terms plus 138 x minus 35 and now we shall find the next term in the quotient by dividing this minus 2 x cube by first term of the divisor by x square this means we have minus 2 x therefore the next term in the quotient is minus 2x and if we multiply minus 2x with these three terms of the divisor then we have minus 2x cube plus 8x square minus 2x and now we shall change the sign of these terms then this term is cancelled out here we have minus 27x square minus 8x square then it will be minus 35x square and here we have 138x plus 2x then it will be 140x here we have 35 and now the next term in the quotient is minus 35 we get it by dividing minus 35x square by x square and if we multiply minus 30 5 with all these three terms of the divisor then we have minus 35 x square plus 140 x minus 35 and now we shall change the sign of these terms then all these three terms will be cancelled the remainder is 0 therefore we can write the given polynomial px like this gx into x square minus 2x minus 35 plus 0 and adding 0 have no sense therefore we shall write px equals to gx into x square minus 2x minus 35 and we know the zeros of gx therefore we need just need to find the zero or zeros of this quadratic polynomial x square minus 2x minus 35 and we shall factorize it by using the method of splitting middle term that is x square minus 7x plus 5x minus 35 if we further solve it then we have x minus 7 into x plus 5 if we put this value equals to 0 then we have the zeros of px are 2 plus minus square root of 3 if we put this value equals to 0 then we have 7 if we put this value equals to 0 then we have minus 5 so these are 
all four zeros of the biquadratic polynomial px. Therefore, this is the solution of the question. Thank you.